It's Nolan. What's going on, y'all? It's the kid Jay Nolan here. Welcome back for another episode of Inside the Industry. Of course, this is your number one source for music and entertainment breakdowns and commentary. All my insiders, what's happening with y'all? Uh, we're going to be getting into Young Miami today, all right? Now, as of today, she actually previewed a brand new song that I guess is on the way very soon. It might be dropping next week. We don't know. You know what I'm saying? You just never know what... what Miami and the City Girls, one day they're previewing music, the next day it never drops. Just never know, right? Um, however, this is her new Yams era. She's officially a solo artist. She's dyed her hair or at least been wearing wigs that are, you know, kind of red, ginger, just to let you know about the Yams era, which is the color of Yams. And... Um, yeah, so she's letting it be known full throttle that she is coming out with more solo music. Now, the song is allegedly called CFWM, as in Can't Fuck With Me. Not much of the song is, you know, previewed. I will say there's about 30 seconds and it's all hook. No lyrics from the actual verses. Um, there's a guy talking about, uh, girl, you pretty with no makeup or whatever. We're going to play the snippet since the song is not officially out. We could play the snippet of the that that she posted on IG. Hopefully there will be no implications from YouTube on the copyright side of things uh, because the song is not out yet. Now, moving forward, if the song drops next week or two weeks or whenever, uh, this video may be <laughs> put on private. But in the meantime, in between time, we're going to have some fun on Inside the Industry. How about that? Okay. Uh, we're also going to get into some of the, the quote unquote hate train that's surrounding young Miami. Um, and we'll go from there. But first, let's get into this preview that she put out today. OK, I think that's fair. So, boom. All right. So that is the preview from young Miami song. Can't fuck with me. C.F.W.M. And I got to be absolutely honest with y'all. This shit is trash. <laughs> hey, yo, this is garbage O records. OK, and I'm not saying that because I have anything against Young Miami because I absolutely don't. It's just trash. OK, the beat, the beat came in banging. I'm like, OK, cool. Girl, you ready with no makeup, you know, and notably, oh, man. Can't even get it right. So she comes in with the song talking about you're pretty with no makeup. And then she proceeds to show herself off with a full beat face filled with makeup. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all couldn't even understand the assignment of getting it right. Like if it's girl, you're pretty with no makeup. It would be to your benefit to have a bare face you know what i mean i mean am i missing the mark here am i tripping because i'm putting it on the screen am, am, am i tripping am i losing it because this is what we have here brows lipstick liner the whole nine and hey it's not that she looks bad, you know what I mean? Because she don't at all. But it's just the dichotomy here of a song coming in, hoisting you up. Girl, you pretty with no makeup. Girl, you pretty with no makeup. Where's the proof? Where is the proof? Like, <laughs> like you, ain't even, you know what's funny to me? You didn't even Alicia Keys it. You know what I mean? They've been trying to promote Alicia Keys bare face for the last four years Knowing she done had concealer and all type of shit on. You know what I mean? Knowing. <laughs> like. At least you could have did that. You know what I mean? Like. What, what's what's really going on here people? Girl you pretty with no makeup. <laughs> Girl you pretty with no makeup. And, and, and I'm going to be honest. This is why people say I be hating. But I'm just being honest. I'm speaking the truth. What are we supposed to do here if we put together a show and we talk about what's going on in the world? If I can't be honest and be clear with people about what we're seeing, 
because I'm sure there's some other people on the same page, then what is the point? You know what I mean? Now, people did make note like, hey, young Miami, she she gained us away. She's trying to show off the body. You know what I'm saying? And if that was the intention of the video, you you definitely succeeded in that area, right? I don't think anybody ever questioned whether or not young Miami looked good, but, you know, clearly she had a point to prove. Then she goes on to do the rest of the song, these bitches can't fuck with me, me, can't, because you already had homeboys say, can't fuck with you. Who's going to sit through 20 minutes of a hook? I need y'all to tell me, is this going, I mean, when this drops, is this going on your playlist? This going in your rotation? I need to understand, right? Y'all finna partisan Fontaine is black girl, do your thing. Y'all gonna, y'all gonna support it just cause y'all like one line. Girl, you're pretty with no makeup. You gonna start doing TikToks to it cause you heard that line. If you do, don't be ashamed. I ain't chastising you for it. I just say, I'm just telling y'all. On my side of the of the uh, speaker, trash. And to to take it even further, I think we've done Young Miami a disservice. Um, the last song, Fifty Fifty, I know it was a DJ Academics diss. I know it dropped, you know, a few weeks after all of the energy for DJ Academics, so it kind of missed the mark in terms of like. She didn't capitalize at the right time. I don't know what happened. I don't QC. What the fuck going on? I, I, I asked y'all the same thing about JT. If she got a diss record off the cuff and you going in on this nigga, y'all have the resources to make sure that that should have came out immediately. Y'all, <laughs> what did y'all do? Y'all went through a self-serve distribution company and had to wait almost a month before it came out. Now y'all want to come back and throw shots? Saucy Santana done got over the issue and everything. Now y'all want to put the diss out. How, how Saucy Santana diss come out before yours? But we did a disservice to that song because it was actually not that bad. Like that particular song. I went back and listened to it before the before making this video, and I'm like, this is leaps and bounds over this Garbo. You know what I'm saying? Garbo, who this woman? Right? 50-50? We didn't give that the attention it deserved. We didn't give that the support it deserved. Unfortunately, it was ill-advised, misbanaged, and it fell by the wayside when that should have been what was going on? Not that it was like a long song, not that it had a catchy hook, but just off the raps, it's much better than what we're hearing on this preview. I got to be honest. I'm telling y'all I'm here to be a truth teller, whether that truth be sweet or sour. OK. So. What's going on, Miami? You got to get it together, because if this is an official single from the Yams era, we don't want the Yams. You might as well figure something else out, right? You want to show off your body? Let that be the Yams era. You know what I mean? Like maybe maybe only fans is in your future. I'm not saying it has to be. But based on the allegations that are circulating in court documents or or lawsuit documents, I should say, you've been participating in freak offs. Your cousin tried to get on Lil Rod, tried to perform <laughs> sexual favors on Lil Rod that he didn't ask for, didn't want, had to push your cousin up off of him to say, hey, I don't want that. And you was in the proximity of the studio, not doing nothing. So maybe OnlyFans may be in the future, because if you could do it there in the studio with Lil Rod and Diddy wide out in the open. You might want to put it on the camera, cash in on it, you know? Now, a couple days ago, Jess Hilarious came out on The Breakfast Club and she spoke on the so-called Young Miami hate train, right? So she says, uh, Young Miami responds to fans criticizing her being outside twerking and not working on her career. I don't understand. Like, what is this new Young Miami hate train? I hate it. It's dumb. I'm just going to use a redacted term because... We don't use this word no more. I don't like it. Right. 
Charlemagne said, it's the internet. Jess comes back in and says, the internet created a narrative for some reason. She said, yeah, I just hate it. But she did post something on Twitter the other day. She said how y'all flip flop should be studied. And that is true. It is so crazy. Okay. Now, I'm just utilizing this to go over because I, I saw the comments when this snippet was released earlier today. And it was pretty widely accepted that it was trash. And people was like, oh, snap. You might need to figure what's next. Clearly, Diddy is out of the picture. You're trying to come back outside. You're trying to serve us music. Looks like people are rejecting the, the deposit, right? Not only that, but, uh, you know, they did not let up. Furthermore, uh, the hate train continued when she came to the platform with a brief question saying, I'm broke. This ish must be new to me. Now, allegedly, Diddy was giving Carisha $250,000 per month. In addition to whatever income that she had coming in, she, I think she made the claim that she was making a million dollars a month. I don't know. But the internet said she broke for selling her clothes. She said, I'm broke selling my clothes when I always had Carisha Closet on my website this whole time. Mind you, I've been doing this. Y'all people saying anything. Right? So clearly... Uh, she was selling some Louis Vuitton sneakers for $480. She was also selling a Chanel turtleneck sweater for about $2,900. So whenever she gets tired of, of rocking clothes or perhaps she wore it once and never, you know, what's the Jay-Z lyric? Uh, you, you get it, I had it, got mad at it and don't want it no more. When she decides she's over it, she puts it up on her website and sells it off. Let's, the, you know, whoever got the money, come get it. I don't see anything wrong with that. That's what people do with thrifting, right? Except you actually get paid for it. That's what Plato Closet used to do, try to pay you, you know. But they try to start shortchanging niggas. If you could get four hundred eighty dollars for some used sneakers, you can get twenty nine hundred for a fucking Chanel turtleneck sweater that's been sitting in your closet. Who are we to down you on that? You know what I mean? So, I'm not. I'm not supporting people trying to call her broke. Nobody knows her financial situation. There were also people that was uh, basically shitting on her because she was doing club appearances and, you know, rather than actually doing music or performing, she was just in the club shaking ass. But she was actually there picking up a bag similar to what her former rap partner JT is doing with her tour. Just picking up bags. OK. So. I think she. Deserves a little leniency there. She got paid to make an appearance. It didn't say performing live. It just said Young Miami's going to be there. You got to look at the verbiage on these flyers. You know? So a fan will just not put the name out there. But they say, baby, I'm going to be real. Because I feel like people are trying to be funny or don't want to be mean to you. The music don't hit. Yams don't hit. It's not sticking for you. The Diddy situation not only made you look bad for being tied to him, but ruined your image, look, or brand that you made for yourself. Now, that post didn't get very many likes, but I kind of like that they were so direct because that was that's pretty accurate. People are side-eyeing Young Miami for those allegations that came up in Lil Rod's lawsuit, not because she did anything, but how you couldn't contain your cousin from trying to put her mouth on that man's genitals while he was in the bathroom trying to compose himself. Whew. Shit is getting real. Shit is getting real out here. Y'all better clean up your act. And you might need to clean up this motherfucking song from the internet before it drops because it's not happening. All right. I know you got something better in the vaults. You've had plenty of time to be in the studio. Save face. Save what's going on. But please don't save the song, okay? That's not the one. Just being honest. Some people may say I'm hating. I'm actually trying to preserve your career a little longer than, it, than it's going. Don't put that song out. You might want to dig into the City Girls vaults and put one with you and JT out. Because that one ain't it like a Safari Freestyle. All right? Now, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. I'm about to sign out. Just gave my assessment on that preview. We don't know when it's dropping. I hope it never does because that one 
didn't do it for me. Y'all feel free to let me know what you think. Did you like it? Again, are you going to be adding this to your playlist? You're going to be riding out to the club with this? You know what I'm saying? Are you putting it in your rotation? No judgment. This is a this is judgment-free zone. Do what you do. I'm not here to... <laughs> hey, we all got different musical tastes. Whatever you scooping into yours ain't got to come into mine, all right? So that's what I got for y'all. Be sure to like and share this video. If this is your first time seeing me on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the post notification bell for all updates, and I will see y'all on the next one, all right? Y'all be safe out there. Enjoy your weekend. Peace. King of my city and cul-de-sac Coming, I swing like soldier rat Leading my people like quarterback But I study this shit, I'm an almanac Had to get up and grind Knowledge is booming, I'm here to apply Came with the chip and the dip, it just single the mind We finna do more to survive, I need my check Spinning the block for the gouda We hitting the jeweler to flood out the net We don't do beef on computers, I'm straight out the sewer We come when you rest Niggas be looking perplexed, so keeping my foot on their neck No map, I trust my gut for the quest With drama, I'm fully oppressed I was ready for years and they died of me All of a sudden, they tell me they proud of me I been dropping these haters like calories Cross my mind, I came back with some battery Stand for my honor, but two run no gunner Packing the stick with a drummer Wanna catch my bad one fumble I done came too far to be humble